The earthquake really changed the landscape of the country in less than one minute. Like everything, almost everything was destroyed in the capital. The schools, the health centers, and the houses, government buildings, they were a pile of rubbles. And now one year after, you still find the rubble at the same place. Right after the earthquake, people moved from the capital to go to uh, cities that were not affected by the earthquake. But now people are coming back to the capital because the country is centralized and because there's a lack of opportunities in the other areas. So now you have um, more than one million people living under tents still, waiting to be provided a house to live now. This year was very full. Um, it started with uh, the earthquake in January. Then we had to deal with the hurricane season. We had Hurricane Thomas. And um, in October, we had to deal with the cholera outbreak. Since November, we, we are dealing with the election, which is uh, affecting drastically our operations because of the violence. In terms of education, we have been able to distribute 30,000 school kits to children for them to be able to go back to school. We have been able to build 50 semi-permanent schools. We've done a lot of trainings for teachers also and a lot of psychosocial support for teachers who have been directly affected. The semi-permanent schools are meant to last 15 years and children really like them because they feel safe in the schools. We've invested also in protection, mainly putting together um, child-friendly spaces to support um, children who have been psychologically affected by the earthquake. And these child-friendly spaces are run by the youth leaders with whom we worked before the earthquake. They're supported by other professionals, but the youth are the leaders of these places. For the ECCD Center, this gives the opportunity to the parents to be able to work during the day and to find a safe place where their children can develop. And they are with the trained professionals who know how to handle children zero to, to five years old. Health is a major issue in Haiti and a lot of the disease that kill children zero to five are around poor sanitation um, environment. Um, so we focus a lot in providing primary health care, not only in camps, but also reaching out to communities. We've invested a lot also in cash for work, which was key right after the earthquake to reboost the local economy. We've used cash flow to clear the rubble to uh, implement child-friendly spaces or temporary schools. Right after a couple of months, we've started also preparing the hurricane season, digging canals, cleaning rivers and waterways, and also planting trees. And now the priority shifted with the cholera outbreak that started in October. Um, we're partnering with youth uh, who are educating their peers. They're also going to schools, to um, crowded marketplaces, and to remote areas. They teach uh, people how to wash their hands and also how to purify water. We distribute kits in both schools and um, camps for families to purify water and provide them with the key messages to save their lives. Now, almost one year after the earthquake, the land issue is a key problem that is delaying relocation of more than 1.3 million people living in temporary shelters. Seeing people in tents is becoming part of the normal landscape, which is not normal. So this is part of the whole purpose of plant's presence also, for people to know that they cannot live in this situation to have a right to a better life. We hope that by February we will have a new government that will be able to bring the reconstruction forward and take uh, 
the recommendations of children and the youth of this country into consideration.